the difference between track changes and comments. This month, we look at two different concepts that are often confused with one another. The concept of track changes and the concept of comments. To explain these two concepts, we need to start from the typical flow of documents when it comes to the production of a document. It all starts with the author, who produces a document and submits the first revision to document control. In the example we have here, it's a revision A. Then the document controller checks the quality and compliance of the document. In case of anything wrong with the document, they will send back to the author for modification. If all is right, then the document is sent to reviewers typically peers and colleagues of the author. They will review the documents, make comments on it. For example, please change this, please change that. At the end of the review cycle, the document goes back to the author, who will update the document, including comments received from others during the review cycle. The author then submits this revision B to document control for quality and compliance checks on the documents registration, filing, distribution, etc. So if we look at this process in terms of roles, we have the author, who is a subject matter expert in the topic covered in the document, and is also usually the document owner. The document controller's role is that of a gatekeeper. The document controller checks the quality and compliance of documents, making sure that only compliant documents go through the process. Non-compliant documents are rejected back to their originator, in this case, the author. And we have reviewers. They can be peers, colleagues, leads, or managers of the author. Also, they often are from other specialty fields and they can also be external interfaces. Typically at this stage, we gather the views and comments from experts from other complementary disciplines and from important interfaces. So to summarize on the roles, we have the author, who is a subject matter expert and who writes, produces the document, the document controller, who is a gatekeeper, who checks the documents and who will, only if documents are compliant, process these documents, for example, registration, filing, distribution, and the reviewers, who are experts, sometimes in complementary disciplines, as well as colleagues, interfaces, and peers of the author. For more information on the role and tasks of a document control professional, we recommend that you watch the What is Document Control video after this one. So the roles we have seen before are important because they help clarifying the two concepts that are of interest here, the track changes and the comments. Comments happen during the review cycle. Reviewers go through the document and make comments on them, asking the author to either change, add or delete some of the content. We have an example here in Adobe Acrobat where reviewers have commented using the Adobe Acrobat commenting tools. We can see who said what and when. Another example, this time in Microsoft Word, using the comments function. So these are comments. Now let's see the track changes. Track changes happen during the modification process. Once the author receives comments made by peers and colleagues, the author modifies the document in order to include these comments into the new revision of the document. Track changes allow to show what has changed in the document between revision A and revision B. So here we can see side by side two different revisions of the same document. And when we look at the revision B, we can see what has changed since revision A thanks to the track changes. Here we can see a vertical line in the margin highlighting the parts of the document that have changed since the last revision. So to summarize, comments allow reviewers to review a document and make comments on it. Track changes allow the author to highlight what was changed in the documents once they have modified it. Both are necessary as per the ISO 9001 standard, but they cover different requirements of that standard. Record of comments made are part of the measures taken to have evidence of product review. Track changes are part of the measures taken to have control of changes and both are critical to ensure traceability and auditability. These two concepts are both important and critical, but they should not be confused with one another. And for example, it's not a good practice to use track changes as a way to review and comment on documents. Because track changes means that you modify the actual content of the document, and only the author or the owner of the document should be able to modify the document not other people, like reviewers. 
and track changes are not a way to trace who said what and when on a document during a review cycle. It can look pretty messy, as the example we can see on the screen, and therefore it is very difficult to audit. So it's important to use a clean, auditable and easily traceable way to capture comments, such as the example we have seen earlier with the Adobe Acrobat commenting tools where we can trace, even years later, who reviewed and commented, when did they do it, and what was said. And this is especially critical in case of a major incident happening, or in case of audits or investigation. However, track changes are an excellent way to highlight modifications made on documents. If you wish to know more about document control and improve your skills in and around the document control profession, Join us in one of our courses, which allow to develop your skills and get your career on the right track. We have different courses, each one designed to accompany you throughout your career in document control. You can find the link in the description below. Do you currently have a record of comments made by reviewers on documents? What are the means used in your company to highlight modifications made on documents? Let us know in the comments below. We regularly release new content on document control, so don't forget to subscribe to this channel, to like this video, and to hit the notification bell to be notified of any useful new content.